Hey guys, so today who I'm going to be speaking about is Saint Paisio. Um, he's one of our new saints in the Christian Orthodox faith. Uh, for those that want to have a look, that's him. I was also lucky enough to speak to a pilgrim that spoke to me about a miracle that happened um, in their family. Now, guys, this is an amazing miracle. Um, a, a young kid, he would have been 16 or 17, he rode off with his motorbike and as he was riding, he had an accident and he had severe head trauma swelling in his brain to the point where um, uh, they had to remove part of the, uh, what we call uh, cranio, the, um, his scalp, skull, sorry. Um, sorry, I had to translate there um, because there was so much swelling. Now, his condition just kept getting worse and worse, and eventually he went into a coma. Um, the, the doctors in Greece just gave up because it was just impossible um, for him to have a comeback, if I could say that word. Um, now, his mother, which was aware of St. Paisio, has gone from Athens um, up to Thessaloniki, uh, where St. Paisio is buried. Now, um, the reason she went is because the doctors told her that we need to basically pull the plug on your son because there is nothing more we could do. He's been on, um, in a coma for so long and unfortunately he's, he's, not coming, he's not coming back. So she went, obviously, as I said, to um, St. Paisio and she just prayed and prayed for a miracle to happen. Now, she left again from Thessaloniki, um, and just I could just imagine the that, I'd say, bus trip home from Thessaloniki to Athens, just thinking that you're going back, and you've just prayed for your son, and they're just going to pull the plug. And the moment she walks into the hospital, she's walking on the level, and the nurse has come out of the room, seen her, and said, you need to come here straight away. She's grabbed her and pulled her into the room, and she's seen her son sitting up, okay? And not only sitting up, he's out of the coma, okay? This is, this is an amazing miracle. He's sitting up and he said, Mother, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten for so long. Now, the mother, astonished, she said, Son, uh, you're back. What's happened? And, you know, where were you all this time? And the son kept saying that I was in a bright place, and I had this older man, he, he was looking after me and he kept telling me that it's not my time to go yet and that there's going to be many more Sundays with Koliva before I, I die. Now, for those that don't know, Koliva is when we have a memorial service on a Sunday. It's um, what they, um, the ladies or the men, they bake and take for in memory of the deceased. Now... So in other words, your time has not come. That's what this elder um, person was telling him. Now, the mother was, was, was amazed. Eventually, um, he gets, as I said, he gets well. It's a miracle. The doctors couldn't explain it. Um, he, he's, he's, he's come out of the hospital. I'm not sure the time frame because she told me this story a few years ago. Remember 100%, the key points are 100% accurate. Now... Um, when they went back home, she gave her son, like, like I showed you before, um, a photo of St. Basio, and she told him that she went up to uh, pray to the saint. And amongst those photos, she included a few other elders, okay? Not for any reason. She just had, let's say, a, a pile of photos like this. Now, as the son is having a look at him, all of a sudden he stops on this. On the photo of Saint Paisio, and she goes, Mum, that is the saint that was with me all this time, telling me that it's not my time yet. So, a beautiful, beautiful miracle by Saint Paisio. In 2015, um, this was actually in the newspapers um, in America, and also it made it to Greece. Um, there was a kid by the name of Jeremiah, he was 23 years of age. And basically, he had a car accident. He hit a curb. Um, now, I've got the article here. And his car rolled three times. And when the paramedics arrived, 
they actually found him unconscious um, outside of his vehicle. Now, at the time, it was very foggy, from what the article says, and they could not uh, get a helicopter to take him to Fort Myers. For those that are from America, you know where that is. So what they did is they drove him instead. Upon arriving to hospital, they realized that he had um, multiple skull fractures. Now, his condition, like the previous one, was not getting any better. So um, a friend of theirs in Greece got word of the accident and they formed the family about St. Paisio and the amazing miracles that have happened in Greece um, with his assistance to younger kids, especially in car accidents. So I don't wish anyone to have a car accident, but just remember, St. Basio is known to really help in that instance as well. So Dimitri sent them via email a photo of this St. Basios, and they printed it out and they put it next to uh, Jeremiah's bed. Now, a week after they also uh, received holy oil, which was from a monastery where Elder Basios uh, spent his last few days. Uh, that is why it's good if we can have holy oil at home, just so we can anoint our heads every morning um, before we leave the house and every night. Jeremiah was in an induced uh, coma for five weeks. The reason they do that is just to allow time to the brain to heal. Um, and basically after that, um, that's when they see the extent um, and the seriousness of the, of the injury. Now, um, they took him off, as I said, after five weeks, they took him off his medications and it takes three days for the sedate, sedative medication for that to wear off. Now, what it says in the article is to test a person's brain function after a serious accident, what they do is they wanna see if they can respond to a command. So when they walked into the room, they asked Jeremiah for a thumbs up and sure enough, he gave him a thumbs up. Then what they asked was for him to do the cross. And of course, he did the sign of the cross. And that is when they knew that they were witnessing a miracle. So the recovery was steady and Jeremiah was transferred to, I believe it's called the Shepherd Hospital in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, that's correct. Which specializes in brain injuries. Now, when they got there, this is what the doctor said. Um, they said that his survival and the extent of the healing was a miracle. The portion of the skull that was removed was reattached and the surgeon said that people with that severity of injury, 95% do not survive and the 5% that survives is um, remains in an institute for the rest of their lives. Now, what happened to Jeremiah? The article concludes that now he's in the Gulf of Mexico fishing with his friends. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to let you see this video of a priest that was there with St. Paisio at a monastery and a miracle that happened at the monastery with a group of American uh, pilgrims, about 20 of them. Elder Paisios was not at that particular time in the mountain of Ayo Oros. And he would be absent for quite a long time. If I'm not mistaken, it's when he was at Mount Sinai in Egypt. While I was in Mount Athos at the mountain, which is very close to where St. Paisios lived, a group of 20 to 25 young American pilgrims came to the holy mountain. I asked them where they had just come from, and they told me they just visited Father Paisio at his cell. And I said to them, but Father Paisio is not there. He's out of the mountain and he won't be back for another month. They said to me adamantly, no, Father, he was there. I actually asked them whether they saw somebody else. Maybe they had mistaken him. They insisted that they had seen Father Paisio and that they knew him and that they had seen him before. They said, he also gave us these little crosses that he made himself. We spoke to him and we asked him a lot of questions. He even told us the way to come here to the monastery from his cell. So I then asked myself, maybe he came earlier, but it was strange because normally I would be the first person to know 
if he had come back. But I thought, perhaps he came and I didn't see him. I gave the young pilgrim some coffee and some lukumia and I quickly ran to see if the elder had returned. And when I got to his cell, his door was locked and the lock was on there. And also the elder did not return for another month. What a beautiful miracle, okay? And that is why we are blessed to be Orthodox, because the Orthodox faith is from above. It's alive, and that's where we know, because nowhere else do these miracles happen. So, God bless you all. Take care.